We're here in the Keppel Islands, which is just adjacent to the Fitzroy Basin, working on a unique project. Over the next five years, working with the Wapabara people, the traditional owners of the Keppel Islands behind me, and with BHP, we're going to be examining not only sea country, but the effects of climate change on the corals and the reefs in this area. And our goal is to understand those systems better so that we can actually help reefs adapt to and recover from the effects of warming ocean temperatures. So at Ames, we're now committed to developing real partnerships with traditional owners and custodians of sea country and land, but also to help their people reconnect with their traditional lands. To Ames, this is incredibly important and it's one of the key elements of our new strategy. The Keppels is an ideal spot uh, and a great place as far as research to look at the different levels of coral in this area. I mean, we've had impacts the same as other areas. It's not a case of the reef is dying or anything's happening like that. It's a case of going out there and learning about the reef, learning about how the coral survives and how it, it can uh, tolerate heat. So we're just learning about what they can do. Two-way learning for me is um, no matter who you are, scientist, government, whoever, and sitting down with a local person or a traditional person and actually valuing each other's knowledge. Uh, and, and that to me, this, this centre here and working in the partnership is one of the major achievements for Wapabar. It really is something that's strong and for us to come back on country. And it's a really a refreshing change for Ames to, um, to approach us this way. Uh, and that engagement has really been noticed by our people.